there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Welcome to Aries season. I just recorded Aries reading and it felt like it would be the collective Aries energy. So if you are not in Aries and you feel prone to watch it, I would. It happens sometimes where it's the season of the zodiac and I do the reading for that zodiac sign, but it feels collective. And that's exactly how the Aries reading felt. So this is for the collective, right? Uh, it's gonna be for all signs. You have loss and lack and no bullshit. This is that energy from the Aries reading is that somebody feels like they're losing you. Someone here feels a sense of lack. There's major fear here because a lot of you guys are freeing yourself. You've cut yourself free. You've let go. You're moving on to bigger and better. And if this includes a person that you have released and let go of, they're feeling it. <laughs> Wings of light becoming something new. No bullshit. That was in the reading as well, too. Because it's the feminine here that breaks free and she raises in vibration and she knows what she deserves. And this is also about the particular masculine. Because they feel this loss, right? They shift into some higher version of themselves vibrationally. Basically, they go through some sort of darkness and they're in their fields and they go through enlightenment. I always tell you guys, it's not personal, it's vibrational. If you are not on the same vibrational frequency as a person, and you're on this frequency of self-love, and you know what you deserve, and you know you've learned your lessons, and you don't self-sabotage, and you've gone through your healing, you're seeing things through a different set of eyes, different set of eyes. Someone who hasn't done the work and someone who's at a lower vibration can't see the things that you see. It's not personal. It's vibrational, right? So you, and this ties into all the collective readings where somebody here might go through a period of enlightenment because they feel you are moving on. Because the gap, the gap is because, maybe for some of you it was like this. Some of you like this, but the gap is becoming like this as the feminine is rising in vibration. So the gap is becoming so severe because many of you have just like changed the way you interact with them, right? You've, you've changed your attitude. You're like, you know what? I'm fucking free and I'm single. I'm going to go live my best goddamn life. Opening heart, deep connections and water blessings. This card keeps coming up. See how she's clutching her heart? This feminine is in a place of being open and receptive, basically in the Queen of Cups energy. And this masculine needs to do the same. They were very closed off. They weren't vulnerable. They weren't like putting themselves out there. They weren't, um, you know, extending. They weren't sharing. They just had the door shut with five deadbolts on it. And now their heart is cracking. I told you that eclipse energy. We got that first one coming the 24th or the 25th. It's a small one. The biggie is going to be the one on April 8th because that's the one that's like four fucking minutes. And it's a total solar eclipse, the one on April 8th. The one that we got coming up is a small one and I think it's going to like rattle their cage. But for many of them, they're really going to feel some shit after the eclipse on the 8th. I'm starting to understand our connection. Yes, because they're becoming enlightened. Yes, because they are becoming enlightened. Why? Because their vibration is shifting. I said it earlier. You can't see it with this and this if the vibration's too low because two people aren't seeing the same thing. It's not personal, it's vibrational. They are now, what does it say? I am becoming a better person. Yes. And not just for you, but for themselves, because every everything starts with self. You love yourself. You're doing everything for the betterment of yourself, right? And that's what they're going to do too. It's all about self. Uh, you know, it's not about searching for the right person. It's about becoming the right person and then attracting that into you. So it's like as magnetic as your connection really was, right? Like magnets with each other. You guys couldn't stick because you're seeing things so differently. It's not the right vibration. Bottom of the deck, it says, I love you. 
because I think that's the way someone feels. I think someone here is realizing that it was actually love and it wasn't just a passing phase. It wasn't just, you know, um, chemistry physically, just a sexual attraction. They're starting to understand who you really are and what this connection really means. And I think they needed to feel, yet again, the loss of you to feel that. You have, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Because I think this is part of their self-sabotage. I think every time they self-sabotage and pushed you away and like didn't, you know, make plans and then and you guys were together and speaking, they're just like, oh, okay, well, bye. Like, I don't think you realize like what, how much it killed them inside. And I think that like for them, now they're in this position of seeing it and knowing it firsthand that like the loss of you and like you not being in their life in the same capacity, you're not pouring into them the way you used to, you're not putting that razzle dazzle, your magic in the shit, right? You might be just very cordial to them, you might be just very friendly with them, but they don't have the same um, benefits, right? Access is denied and they are really feeling the fuck out of that. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Yeah they're starting to understand the connection <laughs> yeah they're gonna stay awake at night now because it's like mind-boggling to them they're just like whoa holy fuck i see it now they might start to see all of the synchronicities and they might start to see like, all the dots are connecting for this person but again it starts with the loss and the lack and the fear okay so I, some of you bitches that refuse to let a motherfucker go, you're hindering both you and them. You got to let them go. The chaser and it flew all the way over there because that's exactly what the energy is going to be like now. Now the energy is going to be them chasing that ass because that ass is no longer sitting around waiting to be chased. You see what I'm saying? Right? Because that ass is no longer sitting there going, Oh, I'm just, how are you doing? I was just checking on you. Ha, ha, ha. No. She said, peace. Bye. I know what I deserve and I know what's coming in. Bye. They're going to start chasing you very heavily, quite aggressively. And it might be overnight. Okay? It might be over romance. Yes, I just got the chills and infatuation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Could be overnight for some. Like literally just one day you wake up and they are just so different. And they're treating you differently and they're very aggressive and they're very consistent and dependable. And they're going to start making plans and keeping to them. It's like you just, you're, you're like, are you fucking drunk? They're like, no, you're all, are you on drugs? They're like, no. Are you going through a fucking pre-midlife crisis? Midlife crisis? They're like, no. You're like, hmm, suspicious. Because this behavior is what I wanted all along and you weren't doing that before. So I want to fucking know why you're doing it now. And they're like, I just get it now. I see it now. I don't want to like not be with you. I don't want to not talk to you, right? See, look at them, divine masculine, because that's exactly what they're doing. They're going to rise up to become a divine masculine. And the only way they can do that is they've got to face their fears, face their shit, do the work and rise up to meet you where you are vibrationally. That's, I'm telling you, for some of you, and not all of you, because some of you still holding on to somebody who ain't it. They'll never do the work because they don't want to do the work because they're not meant to do the work, right? Not everybody is meant to awaken and become like this divine person. It's not meant to. For those of you that this is meant for, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. They're going to do the work because you let them go <laughs> or the fear of you letting them go is like, it's, it's like what, what it was, was like a smack in their face. It was like a wake up call. It was like somebody threw cold water on their face, either seeing you with someone else, dreaming it, or just 
feeling you treating them very differently. They don't have access to you anymore, right? Look at her. She's like, I'm free. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. And I don't give a shit if we're tied together by the red string of fate. This is bullshit. I'm not going to keep waiting for a person who's not putting energy and effort into this. And if they can't see that this is a divine connection and that I'm, I, that I'm like their perfect match, we're equally yoked, I don't give a fuck. This is bullshit. And she releases and she lets go. But you see that red string of fate? Tugs on whoever it's attached to. It tugs on that ass. Oh my God, look at the way it landed. Look at the way it landed. It, the divine feminine landed on top of the divine masculine because you guys are fucking equally yoked. They meet you. <laughs> they match your vibration. These are counterparts. You can't make it up. You cannot make it up. Now, let's say for some of you, you say, oh, there's nobody. There's nobody from the past. There's nobody. Else. Then this could be someone brand fucking new coming in overnight just like that overnight because you're still in that same energy space of I know what I deserve I'm not gonna fucking be waiting around for people that's that's not sure and I'm gonna live my best life and I'm gonna focus on me right it's not about searching for the right person it's about becoming the right person so you can attract the right person that's what these people do wrong is they they're searching for love and they're searching for this the, the, the person I'm meant to be with as opposed to shifting their energy on becoming the person they're meant to be it's all self right and self-love says i love you but motherfucker i love me more and i'm sorry i can't keep doing this shit and i thought it was you and i wanted it to be you but you don't want it to be you i'm gonna let this fucking shit go because i know goddamn well the universe is going to give me something bigger and better i know it and I deserve it. Ding! Wakes them the fuck up. And you don't go tell them this. Well, let me go and have a conversation with them and tell them that I'm going to move on to bigger and better. And that they're going to change because they're going to lose me. No, you don't say a goddamn word. You say, I hope you live your best life. Just do it energetically. You just adjust the way you interact with them. You've got to tell them shit. They will feel the loss of you, okay? You don't tell them shit. You don't go pleading your case, presenting facts, and exhibit A, I'd like to present to the courts, temptation. Hmm. I just got the chills. They're tempting something here, distress. Yeah, that's where they're sitting right now. Oh, they're distressed. They're, they're extremely tempted. They're tempted to just call you right now while you're while while I'm recording this, while you're watching this, that's when they're tempted. They're just like, oh, oh, I want to just call them. Oh, I want to just text them. They've been thinking about it for a minute, is what I just heard. They've been thinking about it. No sparks. That's what they're worried about. They're worried that because you're showing no, no, you know, reciprocation like you used to, this means that you don't feel the same way anymore or that they don't stand a chance, right? They're worried about that full bloom. Yes, because it's spring. We just had spring equinox yesterday and not only in nature, right, is, is the seeds growing, but so are you. You are fully blooming. You're fully bloomed because you have locked into this insanely high vibration of self-love and you've gone through your healing and now you're blooming so big. And what is the saying? What's the quote? The flower does not dream of the bee. The flower blossoms and the bee comes. And that motherfucking bee is going to come, bitch. You better rest assured. But how do you fully bloom? By letting go of all the shit? By not waiting for a motherfucker? By not put, making yourself constantly available, by not constantly being the one to always reach out. Like, we, you got to be able to pick and choose your battles. For some of you, this is a business thing, right? An acquaintance or a business thing. And you got to communicate with them. But you will communicate with them strictly business. You got to communicate with them. You got to see them at work. You see them because it's your son's coach, your daughter's teacher. It's, you know, your freaking neighbor. It's uh, your fucking friend, right? So you're going to have to communicate with some of them, but you're going to adjust the way you communicate with them. And that'll be a dagger in their fucking heart. I can tell you that right goddamn now. 
oh, you better rest assured that's a dagger in their fucking heart. Because I think that that's the part of the loss too, right? Is that you're not treating them the same. You're not giving them all that attention. You have vintage and head over heels. It's like an old school love. It's like the kind of shit you see in the movies. It's like the kind of shit we've read about in books. It's an old school type of love. It's tale as old as time, right? You have detached emotionally because that's exactly what they were. They were extremely emotionally detached. They were afraid to show their feelings because that's just the way they are. They're not open to be vulnerable with people. And that was something they had to work on. They had to work on the fact that, listen, all the bitches in the past burned them, but that ain't you. And what the fuck that got to do with you, right? Like those are things we had to learn stimulating and fantasizing. Gee, I wonder what they do. I mean, you obviously turn them on sexually. They are sexually fantasizing about you, okay? They could be even dreaming about you. It literally says it was all a dream. Are they dreaming about you? But, but I can tell you for goddamn certain, They'd be thinking about you sexually, literally fantasizing about you, you know, doing their thing, doing their little thing thing. And they'd be thinking all about you, bitch, stimulating. You stimulate them body, mind, soul. Nobody, and I repeat, let me say it for the motherfuckers in the back. Nobody has stimulated them body, mind, soul. They've met their match, but they had to rise up to become a match. Okay, reaching out, healer. They're gonna reach out. I told you they're extremely tempted. As I'm channeling this energy, I can feel it. They're very tempted to reach out. Like they wanna say something, but they don't know what to say. They're trying to come up with something. Like, what should I say this? What, 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 should I send a text and say, oh, reminder, Saturday's practice. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, um, did I leave my, um, did I leave my coffee cup at your desk at work? You know, is, is it just like, they're gonna have to make some shit up. They have to. They're, they're sitting in a place of what the fuck do I say? What do I do? Eight of Swords, overthinking. Yes, they are. They're overthinking this because now they're starting to see the connection, right? See, remember you had sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That's this. And there we are with communication. I'm telling you, they're constantly thinking about it. They're overthinking it too. They're overthinking it. So we had sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I love you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I am becoming a better person. I'm starting to understand our connection. They're thinking about this non-fucking stop. I got the chills. They're thinking about this non-stop. Overthinking this. Three of Cups. Obsession. The devil. Capricorn energy here too with the devil. Knight of Cups, right? They've been smitten this entire time. Now it's in overdrive. It's becoming obsessive. They can't stop thinking about this. They're also very obsessed with thinking about what the fuck is you doing? You what? You having fun with who? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> who you fucking? You want, you're going out to dinner? Oh my God, who did she go with? Oh my God, they're going on a trip. Who are they going with? You have justice because you know what you deserve. That's Libra energy. You know what you deserve. Magician and the five of wands. It was a gridlock. Nothing was happening, right? There, but this is the other kicker with that too. Not only was this gridlock and nothing was happening, that's competition. And they're very worried about competition. Oh, uh, they're very worried about it. I just got the chills. They're infuriated about it. Just thinking about losing you to someone else. Now with the magician, it tells me that they've got to go ahead and pull a rabbit out their motherfucking ass. Okay, the fool, there we go, jumping, leaping, wheel of fortune, because that's exactly what's happening, right? You know, Aries is basically like January astrologically, right? So it's a brand new, it's a new year astrologically, because Aries are the babies of the zodiac. So now that we're in Aries season, there's like this reset, you know, you have it right here with the fool, that's the reset. Oh, look what's underneath the fool, the king of fucking cops, because a motherfucker see it now. Now they gotta take this leap. They've gotta take this leap of faith and let their emotions lead them. Look at them, their cup runneth over, ace of cups.
They have to let their emotions be seen, but for them, that's them jumping into, you know, being vulnerable in emotions. Because I mean, the fool is someone who just like leaps, right? They just like lean into the unknown. And it is the unknown right now because they don't know how you're feeling because you've shifted your energy and behavior toward them. Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles. Bitch, it's reciprocity. What they were not doing before, they will be doing now. If they weren't keeping up their end of the conversation, they will now. If they weren't the ones reaching out, they will be now. Remember, they come up as the chaser. They're going to chase that fucking ass. The Ace of Pentacles means that they're going to come with solid offerings. They're going to come ready. They're not going to come and fuck around. Okay, Ace of Pentacles is serious. For some of you, this could be moving or career change as well too. But it's a solid fucking offer. It could be even an offer of commitment. Ugh, the Emperor told you they're going to be a chaser. That's the chaser. This is also Aries energy. Welcome to Aries season. Where they may start to feel very aggressive. Let me read to you what the card says. Independent. Aggressive. Active. Energetic. Leader impatient combative naive right that's the full energy assertive initiator they're going to be very aggressive they're just going to do it once they get over the anxiety and the back and forth once they come forward with it it's on so before they reach out, before they initiate, before they do that, imagine the before is all, fuck, oh my God, shit, I don't fucking know. They don't text me anymore. They don't talk to me like that anymore. Uh, they're not friendly like that to me anymore. Like, fuck, I don't know, okay? But once they come forward, it is balls to the wall, pedal to the metal, hammer down, green light go, bitch. The broom, it's unavoidable. It is unavoidable, but the card itself says repetitive. And it's like this thing that doesn't go away. It haunts them. You haunt them. This connection haunts them. Their feelings haunt them. You have the bridge, which talks about communication and uniting because that's what's haunting them. They're, they're tempted to constantly pick up the phone and text, to call you, to make up an excuse to DM you. You see what I'm saying? They're like, it's, it's a repeat thing. It's over and over and over and over. They can't stop thinking about it. There you have the ship, which literally talks about movement, right? So it's green light, go, but it also talks about travel and trip. And if some of you bitches are going on a trip or traveling, we've talked about this for a fucking minute, that that is going to make them feel very uncomfortable, very nervous, and very jealous. You have the archer. See, all eyes on you now. Bitch, their focus is all on you. Period. Point blank. Okay? Maybe before it wasn't and you could feel it, you're going to feel that you are... <laughs> Whoo, when I fucking tell you, when I channel their energy... When they shift into the divine masculine and the, and, and the chaser and the emperor, you're going to know that all of their attention is solely on you. You will feel it. Okay? Oh, you're going to feel it. The butterfly. They go through a major fucking metamorphosis. There is a massive transformation here because they had to rise up in vibration. But also what's changing is the status of this connection, right? You have the child. This is beginnings, brand new, spontaneous. Um, yes, I mean, and here you go with the, the waterfall because it's a flood of emotions. Their cup runneth over, okay? It's, their feelings are unavoidable. And this is that full energy, right? With the whole brand new and spontaneous. It's also like resetting this connection. It's like you guys are going to start from ground zero because that's what the fool is. The fool is a reset. It's zero. You have the garden. The garden talks about a, an event, a date, meeting, right? So this could be a very big concern of theirs. Like they, they can't wait to see you again 
or they're trying to figure out how they can how they can see you how they can get together with you and then you have the light bulb that's their aha moment right they have this epiphany they have a breakthrough there's a breakthrough in this connection because the motherfucker has his moment of ding enlightenment hallelujah final fucking lee there's the sun to confirm it an awakening they are enlightened they understand the connection okay they understand what they're feeling they understand what will happen if they lose you they understand what they need to do they understand the work that needs to be done they get it now there's the magnets because they're longing for you they're yearning they're pining okay <clears throat> magnet means it's magnetic attraction that it's they can't stop thinking about you do you understand and it's not a stalker it's not joe from you it's not fucking fatal attraction bunny boiling i say this all the time you guys got to stop with the stalker shit i see you guys leaving comments and trying to tell me i'm your motherfucking person and i told you don't say slick shit and get blocked because if you make me feel uncomfortable and you make me feel some type of way and I can see that you're not seeing what's the reality of it, you got to be blocked. I'm not fucking around with that shit. I want you to win. I want you to fall in love with the person for you. There's a lid for every pot. You not my lid. I'm not your lid for your pot. Now that's what this is here as well too. This is not where we're banking on. It's an unrequited thing that there's absolutely no chance because it's not destined and faded. It's not written. It's not your person. You're not their person. Okay. This is destined and faded. So this magnetic attraction would be dun 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 dun. Both motherfuckers. Not one. Both. It's mutual. But it tells us that they have this like major longing and yearning. They're going to start pining for you. It's going to be painful. There's the stars. And the stars talk about falling in love. Because that's exactly what this is. They realize like, oh my God, I was falling in love or I fell at first sight. They're realizing the synchronicities, right? They're realizing that this is written in the stars, that this is destined and faded. There's a fucking double rainbow, which is twin flame rainbows. It's twin rainbows. So it's mirror souls here. You guys are equally yoked. Literally, it says duality because you guys are fucking yin yang sun moon now it also talks about ascension because they have to rise up and it talks about perfect timing and good luck and serendipity again they're seeing it they see it now they, they see it now you better get ready because when they start chasing there it is they see it now the swans they see you're the one they know it's a soulmate connection they may not use those words soulmate Twin flame, equally yoked. They may not say those things, but they fucking feel it, bitch. Okay, the card says deep soul connection, blooming love. Because it's spring. Spring love, bitch. You see what I'm saying? It also talk about a pair of things. Because you guys is fucking two peas in a pod. Because now you guys are at the same fucking vibration. Divine feminine, divine masculine. Well, look at the sparks. Look at the chemistry. Fireworks. It's what they feel. It's what it is. Right, so this talks about passion and chemistry, and it does talk about a celebration or a holiday. It talks about really explosive hot sex because, again, body, mind, soul, and they have been fantasizing about you, dreaming about you, fantasizing about you, can't stop thinking about you. And you know, damn well, we're going to use those sexual cards in this extended, which we're going to go to right now. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Click below this video the word more if you are confused at what the handle is. That info is below. Click that first link below because it's going to take you to my website, saltwaterhousepower.com. And you're going to go to the extended readings and look for the special love slash oracle readings. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. I will see you there. Love you. Bye.